Hi guys, it's Nicole here and I think it has already been 7 years since my last video wherein I talked about how I cured my impetigo. So I'm back here with another video 7 years later <laughs> and I'm going to talk about my first time experience doing the hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So I've lost count how many takes I have done for this video since I'm not used to talking in front of the camera anymore. So if it's very unorganized please bear with me but, but i will try to be as concise as i can so you might be wondering like why did i suddenly go to hyperbaric oxygen therapy isn't it that usually older people are the ones who go there or like people who have specific illnesses that requires them to go hyperbaric well thankfully i don't have an illness that requires me to do hyperbaric oxygen therapy and I'm not like old old yet you know but a few months ago my husband and I were feeling constantly tired even if we got eight hours of sleep or more even if we were eating healthy um, I think it's just that the wedding planning preparations the wedding itself and just adjusting to this whole new routine and lifestyle of living alone and moving into our new home just made us very tired and our bodies were adjusting I think so yeah we were constantly feeling tired and I didn't want to feel like that anymore even after we had a vacation for like almost a week when we came back I was still feeling tired I just thought to myself that this couldn't continue happening anymore so I suddenly remembered people mentioning about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and that it helped them feel more energized more focused and sleep better so yeah I decided to try it I am NOT a medical expert or professional but this is just my basic very basic and simple understanding of it so what is hyperbaric oxygen therapy it's basically going inside a pressurized chamber and breathing concentrated oxygen so the high pressure inside the chamber helps the oxygen go in the blood plasma or bloodstream faster which sends more oxygen throughout your body so it's especially helpful for people who got carbon monoxide poisoning or people who have wounds that are taking too long to heal since oxygen helps wound heal faster well as for my husband and i we just did it for wellness and to reset our body so I googled hyperbaric center in Manila and Asian hyperbaric healthcare center appeared in Google. This is not a sponsored post by the way since I didn't know about them prior to experiencing that fatigue and prior to researching about hyperbaric in Manila. So yeah, I called Asian hyperbaric healthcare center and booked an appointment with them. On the day of our appointment, the nurse welcomed us. We were asked to fill up a form, so to put in our details and health history if you're feeling anything. And after that, we were interviewed by the resident doctor who is Dr. Jojo. So he asked us about what we're feeling, why we decided to try hyperbaric, and um, do we have any health concerns. So after that, uh, the nurse got our vitals, so she checked our heart rates, our blood pressure, um, oxygen level, and our eardrums. It's very important that your eardrums are in good condition or there's no like problems with it since you're, you're gonna be going in a high pressurized chamber and it's like diving or riding a plane we're in there's a change in air pressure. So before the session, we were asked to leave our things inside the locker since oxygen is highly flammable and um, we don't want any accidents to happen. So just best to leave all unnecessary things inside the locker before you enter the chamber. And so we left our things there, jewelries, accessories, um, gadgets were not allowed. So I wasn't able to film inside during the session. Um, yeah, and before going in the chamber, we were asked to wear the socks they provided and the slippers they provided and a um, lab or medical gown. So once inside the chamber, they provided us with their own oxygen mask, 
which we will be using every time we go there. There's also a TV where you can choose what show you would want to watch during the two hour session and there are snacks provided as well because um, the blood sugar tends to drop when doing the hyperbaric. Um, as for us, we felt hungry during the session inside the chamber probably because, well, my thinking or analysis is that more oxygen in the bloodstream, therefore higher or faster metabolism therefore making us feel hungrier faster so yeah so we had some of those snacks um in the middle of the session they also reminded us to equalize when they were increasing the air pressure inside the chamber then um every 20 minutes or so we were asked to remove our oxygen mask to stop breathing the concentrated oxygen first since it's not advisable to inhale concentrated oxygen for a long period of time. Actually, the two hours flew by so fast since it just felt like we were in a movie theater. Just because there's a TV and we're just sitting there like inhaling oxygen and snacking. So it just felt like you're in a cinema. So I would actually advise to wear comfortable clothing when you're going hyperbaric oxygen therapy. After the session, I felt more energized, like I was hyper, I was talking a lot. And before uh, sleeping, like when we were already about to go to bed, you know that feeling when you had a good workout? So your body feels tired, but at the same time, it feels calm and relaxed. So that's how I felt. It's like. That's the feeling that I get when I go swimming for like really do laps and then you know when you're swimming and you do laps you're like breathing in and out so that you have this constant breathing rhythm and your body is working and after that you just feel tired and relaxed and just you just want to sleep and yeah so we had a very good sleep and we woke up energized and days after the hyperbaric oxygen therapy I was feeling yeah more energized like before just getting out of bed feels tiring already waking up getting out of bed those simple tasks already feel tiring but after doing the hyperbaric oxygen therapy i was feeling energized after work i still had energy and i think it helped reset my body i haven't done it since then that was like six to seven months ago so recently i just do like workouts and just exercises to help like pump oxygen and more blood throughout my body but yeah um, I would totally consider doing it again in the future if I need to or if I want to but I've been recommending it to my friends and family just for general wellness and just you know to it's like a reset for the body I think that's what I felt and I have a few aunts and uncles who have been doing it and all I hear are good reviews about it. So yeah, I'll leave down below the details of Haitian Hyperbaric Healthcare Center in case you're interested. I forgot the rates of their packages but you can just call them up to inquire. So far, my experience with them was really nice. It's a very clean clinic. The doctors and nurses were very professional and friendly. So highly recommend it. That's pretty much it. I hope you find this video informative and see you on the next one. Bye!